Hi, I'm Steven. Do you have such an experience where you walking on the street and uh, you just uh, looked a very beautiful view, but uh, the subject far from you and the lens on the camera in your hand only the uh, 50 or 35 millimeter. So the subject in your viewfinder is too far and too small. So you ran out excitedly, just want to get closer and uh, take a full composition uh, picture. But when you approach there, everything's changed. And that exciting view you just saw has disappeared. Do you have experience like this? If you have, uh, you should be try a telephoto lens. In fact, the subject that you see make you feel beautiful or interesting because the scene viewed from a distance is that the distance be compressed and uh, uh, many elements are overlapped. And when you get closer, uh, you have changed your viewpoint. So the compression of perspective uh, disappears. People, uh, the photographers, they, everyone, they are viewing angle uh, a little bit different. Someone observing with a, a wide viewing angle, they should be uh, use a wide angle lens like a 28 millimeter. So when shooting a stranger on the street you, uh, with your uh, 28 millimeter wide angle lens, you must get closer and closer. That can create a very stronger perspective sense. So it take a courage to uh, use a 28 millimeter wide angle lens to shooting some uh, stranger. However, uh, someone used to uh, observing with a narrow uh, viewing angle as they are uh, cropping the scene when shooting. These people, uh, I think, uh, more suitable for telephoto lens, like uh, Saul later. Saul is one of my two favorite photographers. The another one is Ansel Adams. Actually, two of them, they have uh, uh, one thing in common. They all uh, doesn't really uh, take a photo. So was like an impressionist uh, painter. He, he used the street and the light, uh, uh, painting the colors. But the Ansel Adams, more like a musician, he uh, used the uh, landscape and the light to write a music rhythm. The telephoto lens not only gives you a focused perspective, but more importantly, uh, perspective compression. You may have heard uh, like this, the telephoto lenses compress a scene, which will make the distant objects and the closer objects overlapped, and uh, let them look uh, a little bit closer. Uh, look this. The 80mm lens is a standard lens on a Hasselblad camera and the angle of view is close to human eye. It's just like a 50mm lens on a full frame camera. But if you shot at this angle with a standard lens, the photo will be boring. Using a 105mm lens on a Sony full frame camera can get a picture like this. It seems that many elements of this old street overlap with Mount Fuji. The distance between Mount Fuji and this street has become very close, uh, but in fact the distance is about uh, 15 kilometers. Now let's look at the history of the art. The classical painters, they pay more attention uh, to the sense of depth. So their works looks uh, have seriously perspective technique. But after a few hundred years, the art come to uh, Impressionism. The Impressionist painters, they don't much care about the uh, sense of depth. They pay more attention to the color sensation uh, caused by light in the 2D view. In later uh, post-impressionist, the painters uh, like uh, 
whole season with Van Hoor and uh, Clavis Gogin, they even abandoned the uh, perspective uh, principle. And these three masters, they uh, was opened the gate of the modern art. So looking at uh, uh, so latest photography, we'll find that he almost doesn't like the uh, composition of the picture with all this uh, perspective. He was paying more attention to the expression of 2D viewing colors and uh, light and uh, shade. So I think uh, Saul must be an impressionist paintings lover. His viewpoint was very uh, focused. Apart from 50mm, the lenses he was used are mostly uh, telephoto lenses. Look like uh, 150mm, I'm not sure. So was used expired Kodachrome film and uh, taken a lot of beautiful New York street photography in the 1950s. I love them uh, very, very much. So I want to try take a street photography use a telephoto lens. So I first use a contact zoom lens 28 to 85. You can check my last uh, uh, review of uh, the contact lens. But now it is the uh, raining season in Tokyo. The contact's larger uh, diameter of front glass is very easy to get wet by rain. I have to constantly to uh, clean, clean it and clean it again. Uh, so, so much trouble. So I change it to use this very small and uh, uh, light Mayer Optic uh, uh, gauntlets. 100 mm f2.8. The first thing that uh, must be have to say, this Meyer is not the, uh, that uh, reborn uh, new Meyer. This Meyer is from uh, East Germany, like uh, Kaiser's Jena. Take a look at this Meyer, M42 mount, the focus ring through almost uh, 360 degrees. The closest distance is one meter. Uh, aperture ring not clearly click, but uh, focus ring uh, move smoothly. It unlike a little bit of warm color of Kaiser's Jena, which the, which they all uh, from the Cold War. The color rounding of the this lens uh, is a little bit cold. With this lens, I was used the M42 mounted camera Pantax SP uh, take um, some film uh, before. In this year's uh, cherry blossom season, I have transferred this lens on Sony Mirrorless camera taken the cherry blossom of uh, Kamakura and Zishi, which is, feels very handy and easy to use. The color it rendering looks a little bit gray and cold with a sad tone. I think which is very suitable for the raining seasons. <laughs> 